All right, so if you tuned into this message, those of you who are tuned into this title, if this title caught your eye, then it caught your eye for a reason, right? Um, we were having a conversation. Whenever I clean, I like to have conversations with my higher self, with the energy associated with the current energy and I do I do know that the Lionsgate portal is truly the veil is super thin right now like super thin because uh, I don't know about you guys but the dream stay hello guys love and light to you um, I just finished cleaning everything I'm so tired but I just feel like I need to uh, channel this energy for you guys with this Lionsgate portal there's when I say super veil super veil mm -hmm, it's a super veil a super thin super veil and hey guys, love you. And um, I'm here. I'm hearing direct quota to the Stargate. I'm hearing seeing is believing. Some of you guys are already tapping into this force field. It's like a, but it's here's the thing. It's it's gotten to the point where it's been like, it's been powerful. I, I know that for me when I with that girl, uh, you've seen how. My day's going good. Just I've been cleaning a lot. I cleaned the whole house today. I did like some deep cleaning, and I'm, and I do deep cleaning. Like I get, I take everything out. I'm like, I soak the floors, then wipe them 14 times. I'm like, you know, you could lick my floors. That's how fucking clean they are right now. But um, that's the way I like to clean. I'm a very like into cleanliness. Uh, so I remember the other day I went to my friend's house. She was like, oh my god, I was so nervous for you to come here, because I know how you are with cleaning and stuff. I'm like, I'm not gonna judge you, but. You know, it's good to keep your house clean, you know what I'm saying? It's welcoming like that. But anyway, um, some of you are already tapping into this force field, you guys. You're already tapping in. So if you, yeah, there's been a burst of positive energy, exactly. Especially with the um, with the Lion's Gate, you're going to feel a burst of, first of all, I'm hearing this very strongly. I hope this is for you, because this is what I'm hearing. That you stop thinking about all what everybody else is doing. <clears throat> I know me, I personally got out of a storyline where I was like, like I said, watching Toxic Reader and it was bringing me down toxicity with them. You know what I mean? I'm not blaming them. I'm blaming, I'm not blaming nobody. It's, it's every, you know, I, I also think like, <clears throat> why was I in that story for so long? <clears throat> it's also because spirit wants us to learn a lesson, right? You got to learn. Yeah, you have to think for yourself, right? Um, a guide should be somebody who guides you along the path in a loving way. Not to make you see... Here's the thing. We understand that some people, some people, readers, whatever, they illuminate everything that's happening. But if someone's illuminating everything, even the negative, then I really, I would, if I really want to tune out, if they're constantly talking about negative stuff as opposed to... When I come on here and I talk about anything negative, it's because spirit wants you to be aware of what's coming forth with you. Not, you should not be concerned with what's going on in every single dimension and every timeline. It doesn't. It doesn't matter, right? So um, you're tuning. You're tapping in right now. Listen. This is a message. I hope this is you. Really, I really do because this this is really positive and really loving. I'm hearing. I, I hear. I hear that you're tapping into a very powerful um, uh, portal here. <clears throat> you, you opened up a portal that was closed for a long time. Um, I'm seeing soup here. I said, ooh, la, my nose is itchy right now. I'm seeing soup here, and um, I do know that in a dream, if you see somebody cooking soup or you're eating soup, it represents that abundance is coming because soup is like, if you think about it, it's the... If people are poor or whatever, you know, um, they don't have money right now. Soup is a great way. They used to make soups out of anything, like leaves and stuff like that. And it would be filling to them as much as it could be with some bread on the side. You know what I mean? They dip the bread. So think about it. Soup is like the, the beginning of everything. Like soup is always, for me, if I have a nice dinner, soup on the side is like my favorite. Like a nice light soup or whatever, you know what I mean? On the side, it's really good for you. Woke up at five 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 two two two. I have been seeing. I don't know if anybody else, and this could be confirmation for you right now. I have been seeing uh, five 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 three 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 six 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 and uh, two 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 a lot, a lot. So to 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 speak of these numbers would definitely be uh, implicating that you're going to be 
changing balance coming in big changes uh something with the family dynamic completely changing because remember six represents family and i also been seeing the number seven and 808 and 818 a lot so those are numbers that are really uh have to do with abundance and change and a brand new perspective a new beginning um a balance okay and i see an opportunity here that lies within the horizons i'm seeing literally spirit showing me a horizon and um i see like the sunset is coming out and you're just sitting there and i'm thinking of the movie city of angels where all the angels are on the on the beach and the sun's coming up and they all hear singing during the sunset like they hear almost like angels singing and if you really they say tune in to the sunrise or sunset that's sunrise especially that um you could hear like angelic voices if you tune in um uh, i know that one time i was going through a, a, a bad struggle and i went outside and i swore the sun was singing like ah, and i swore i heard that and there's a bat that just passed by so look up what bat means um after this i believe bats mean like mystery uh intuition highly psychic telepathic uh there was another one flying right over me right now there's a bat and it's very intuitive very bats are like they say blind right they can't see but they use their ear ears a lot to to travel and they they work with like ectos ec, ec, echo sonar like like uh dolphins right dolphins communicate with ecto sonar or whatever it's called and you get like a large it's a loud pitch that only like you know some people can hear right okay okay so yeah had a bat in my house wow that's yeah so that's a big message right there i'm gonna say that uh, i just i just heard something like peripheral is vision is like you know when you're looking straight okay guys listen to me now you know who the fuck you are i'm hearing spirits say you know who you are you've been you've been having like a feeling i'm here baby baby i got the feeling uh somebody i'm hearing somebody's dad like that song a lot it could be i i do see somebody singing and dancing to to uh, james brown here also um uh like those oldies 50s music like uh time on my side you know what i'm saying uh time is on my side yes it is so if you're feeling right now i just see you being okay you're like i'm hearing there's so much i can do there's so many things really i'm i'm gonna say delve into prayer i i have been noticing me the past few days just praying just being like thank you universe for this just lots of prayer just taking a moment sit with myself and just pray and just be like i want to thank you for this i want to thank you for that i want to say this is what i would like to do i want to step into my purpose and i just been talking about stepping into my purpose a lot with spirit with the universe and i've been saying i'm clearing these entities out of not just my space but it's what other people's entities like we said if you have pluto in your ascendant if even if you're right your ascendant is libra or, or, or virgo or gemini pluto in your ascendant or in the in those houses the main houses you you have the ability to see something negative fa first like you have you can see the darkness like quickly and you can you can transmute that darkness from darkness to light you can you'll be shown like you're actually show okay this is a message you're actually able to show others about darkness right you're actually able to show others about darkness so some of you have that gift and it's a gift it's a gift i don't want you to think like it's not a gift i don't, I don't this is crazy like there's a lightning bug standing right next standing well flying right next to me that could be another sign for you the spirit wants you to know scorpio rising wild flow and that you know scorpio is ruled by pluto so yeah and you're able to take the darkness it's crazy because you'll go around people and i swear that it's like this is what happens you'll go around people uh it's like their relationship will either get stronger based on your uh, existence there with them in that moment and you, you being there or it will just like fall apart and not that you're going to make, make other people's relationships fall apart however it's very clear to me and this has been a very clear thing to me when i get around couples they will start instantly all of the arguments that they've been wanting to have they just come out and i don't know why that happens but it just comes out it's like and they'll talk about things from 10 years ago that still bother them and i ended up end up being like their therapist but i love it and i'll sit there and i'll listen and i'll and i'll i'll say to the guy well you're wrong for that and i'll say to the girl nope that's not right like i'll agree with them when it's time to agree with them and i'll disagree when it's time to disagree and i've done this multiple times and there's been a couple of couples i'm not gonna lie to you being around them a few days 
one of them, one couple broke up and she was blaming me and shit, but, but I think like I did her a favor because a year later now she's texting me like, thank you. Cause I'm so glad that that happened, that argument, because if that would have never happened, it would have not. The point is you're able to get that darkness out of people. And this is what spirit wants you to know. One of your gifts and talents is to be able to take the darkness and illuminate it up to the light, bring it up to the light and go, look, this is what's here. That's why spirit works with you the way they do, because you don't run from your darkness or your shadow. I don't run from my shadow or my darkness. I never pretend to be perfect. I never pretend to be good girl or whatever the fuck you want to call it. I just, I show both aspects of myself, but I also control the one aspect, which can sometimes overpower me when I'm trying to uh, work on my higher self. There's always that. And um, I see like two people standing in the room. I'm, I'm seeing a blue, uh, something blue. It's like big. It's blue. I don't know what it is. Uh, I see two people standing in a the room. There's something blue. I see a yellow kitchen. I don't know if it's yellow walls or I see a yellow kitchen. Um, I see a, a pug. I just heard that. I don't know where a pug, like the pug dog. And I see a like a Bengal looking cat. It's like, you know, one of those cats that kind of look like a tiger. They have the spots and stuff like that. Okay. Seeing that like zebra stripe uh, animal here for some reason. Uh, I'm hearing something about Leo, Aries, Scorpio, and Gemini, um, Taurus, and Virgo. I hear these signs are very important to you right now in this time of your life. Like either you're going through these transitions in your own personal birth chart, or this is the people that and the places that you're working with right now. But it's the the group surroundings I'm hearing. Your spirit guides are leading you to your um, soul connection, your community. Okay, hold on one second, guys. Okay, I just wanted to brighten that because it was looking dark. Um, your soul community, your connection to community, your co your community is coming together. Your com oh, you have blue lights in your room? Yeah, okay. your commu you're coming together with your community. Your spirit guides are going to tell you something and they want to say this to you right now. Yes, we are moving you far away from people. Some of you, it's even your, it's not even, okay. Let me say this the right way. It's not about them moving you away from your family. It's about them finally saying to you, yo, listen. I know you love people and blah, blah, blah. That's great, but it's like almost like the, you know, it's like the universe saying, here's this check. Now go create that thing you wanted to create. Go open that business you wanted to open. It's almost like they're going to support your dreams, right? I always say the universe is my mom and my dad. The universe is my parents. And when I need something, I go to the universe because it's like my mom and dad. But like imagine a mom and dad who will mom dad can i borrow thirty thousand dollars to start this business you know those families like it's very rare to have that but this is what you need to get to that point where you're with the universe where you're talking to it like it knows what you want and it there's no need to question it but also being very patient when it's time to get what you need because the universe is going to provide always always going to provide for those who believe it will provide i said to you right now and i'm telling you this with my whole open heart the Lion's Gate portal is opening up a portal of abundance. And if you listen to Abraham Hicks, she says the universe, <clears throat> the universe has a portal of abundance available to us all. It's just a matter of who accepts it or not. So what I like to do is look at the universe. Like there's this big spinning wheel. Okay. There's this big spinning, spinning portal that I can stand in front of this portal where all things I need are open and available to me. Or I could stand in the portal where everything is to shit and nothing ever works out for me and life sucks and God hates me. and da, 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 da. I know I've been there, you guys. I used to say those things every day. God hates me. I'm being punished because I didn't understand what I understand now is that we're all, you know, we chose our lives. We chose the lessons. We're choosing our family. We chose the relationships we were in, the men, the women, the friends, the people. And I, I see you as like a really caring person, caring individual. And the difference between you and another person, I feel like if you stop talking to someone I'm hearing, you're not going to be like, go to other people and be like, that bitch or that dude did this to me, what a motherfucker. You're just going to be like, it just didn't work out. It's like a relationship. I'm not going to turn around right now and be like, my ex, it's all his fault and all her fault and their fault. It's, if I do that, then I have not healed from that situation. And I'm only asking the universe to bring me back into the same circumstances. So in order I say that, it's... Even, listen to me, even if the whole time they did everything wrong, <laughs> like whatever wrong is, right? Like they weren't there for you, the children, whatever it is, whatever it is. But you are the type of person who's big enough to say, it just didn't work out. It didn't work out. 
we were doing good and then things just like fell apart Ooh, i fall apart i'm hearing that and i see like i'm hearing the song the, the weight of my winds are like and she goes uh uh look up that song katie perry's uh brick by brick listen to that song uh bye break uh, she says like uh and it feels like you're in china and i'm in peru whenever i'm standing next to you because it's like whoever you're next to whoever you're with your friends with you're doing stuff with you feel like you guys are so separated but it's not the kind of separation that you can get in a room with this person and be quiet and it's 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 enjoyable you know that person that you have that you can like hang out together and you guys can be on your phones the whole time watching a movie and you don't have to talk but you know that there's like a rapport between you that's gonna keep you guys entertained and chilling there's no like oh why aren't you talking to me you know what i'm saying i see you being the type to forgive people when you let them go and if you're not i'm spirit saying that you're gonna be experiencing a wave of immense forgiveness a time of clearing of reducing stress i'm hearing i'm hearing letting go of the worries and i do see you kind of running from something it, it might be fear this is almost like the person who's finding out that they're gifted and they're like oh my god i can hear spirit oh my god i can see spirit and they run from it so what they do they they suppress it maybe by smoking weed or by taking pills or <clears throat> something that i did for like six years of my life because i thought oh my god this is too much i know like you know it's a wave of of information i'm hearing that maybe could be overbearing and overwhelming to you so it's super important for you to say like slow down to the universe <laughs> the universe will not give you what you can't stand but also sometimes it needs to hear this is too much i need you to slow down like this is too much information at once it's overwhelming and it's driving me nuts and another thing is those boundaries i'm hearing that you created between you spirit and people right now are serving your highest good you went from a person i'm hearing who was constantly like ah, ah you motherfucker you see that yo i swear to god that just was a sign right there a message right there i sat on the chair again and my legs got stuck to it whoever you were stuck to like that when you got up and you were feeling like god damn this feels like fucking like I'm, I'm being like pulled, you know what I'm saying? A way that I don't want to be pulled right now. Like this person is gluing me to the chair. I'm hearing this for some of you. Give me one second. I'm going to take the Wi-Fi off. There's more channeling to be done. Okay. So, so what you need to understand is when it gets overwhelming like that and you start saying to yourself like, this is too much. I can't handle it. I can't. It's too much information at once. This, guys, this happened to me. And when it happened to me, what had happened was because I didn't understand what was taking place with the energy, what happened was I started to feel overwhelmed and I started like almost feeling like I was losing my mind. And then I realized like this is why spirit had me go through this so that I can be, I can see, oh my God, I swear to God, I just thought I saw something pass me. That is so crazy. It literally just so, the point is you're becoming, and I, I don't want to say this inside and there's a reason why. There's a reason why I'm not saying this inside. Let's clear the energy spirit. Protect us with the love and light. I'm not saying that there's negative, scary things inside. What I'm saying, though, is I, there are certain energies that I don't want to hear what I'm, I'm about to say to you because they take that as the <clears throat> green light go. <clears throat> That's not what this is. They um, take that as she heard us. Let's go. Let's go. And I'm hearing this for you guys. It's a message. It's a message. You are either feeling something strange and there's something strange in the neighborhood. Who are you going to call? Flo, the Ghostbuster. You know, I'm hearing that very strongly. And yeah, that's what um, some of you are going to really be experiencing. I don't want to say it like this. I don't want to put this like out there. And then you're like, bitch, why did you say that? Like now I'm fucking. Maybe you're going to be hearing like, for instance, guys, when I say full sentences now I've, i remember yo hello you hear me i would hear shit like that and people talking but now it's more like i know you hear me and it's like yeah i do hear you but let me explain something to you my gifts are my gifts and that doesn't mean that all day and all night i'm gonna be communicating with spirit see what's gonna happen is you're all gonna adhere to my rules and follow the guidelines that i have provided for spirit and the universe this is the message if you're experiencing an overwhelmness of energy, you got to get to this point where I'm at. And let, let me tell you something. 
congratulations, you got a fucking shortcut to your your progression and spiritual ascension. Because, bitch, I had to learn this shit all on my own. And I didn't know who to ask and who to, what's going on. Nobody can answer my questions. I would turn around to the people around me and they'd be like, are you okay? Um, do you need medicine? Or like, you want to go to a doctor? In the beginning, all I got called was crazy. I was like, you don't hear that? You don't see that? You don't feel that? I'd be sitting in the living room and I'd hear somebody call my name and they'd be like, I'm like, what? And I'm saying, what? What do you want? And they're like, what the fuck are you talking about? I'm like, who just said my name? And they'd all start laughing at me and shit like, ah, I swear to God, you're crazy. Something's not right with you. And I'm like, mm, man, you know, I would have dreams and visions of people that I was around that I loved, that I cared for. And I'd be like, hey, listen, um, I love you, but I had a dream that you were. OK, so for instance, let me tell you, my one of my friends was overweight, right? But like overweight in an unhealthy way where she needed like a seat. CPAP machine, I think it's called, when you sleep, like for, um, you know, that breathing stuff when you sleep, um, you know what I'm talking about, she, and she was sleeping like that, and I remember telling her, I went to, to see her one day, and I was like, listen, I was like, I'm going to say something to you, please don't take it offensively, <clears throat> and a lot of times I don't want to say something to people because they think I'm offending them, I'm not, I'm just telling you what spirit showed me, I've had people attack me for telling them, like, yo, I saw, I had a dream about you, there was a, a person standing next to you, it was you, but it wasn't you. You understand? It was like an entity and it was screaming like a psycho, scary, like a demon. You know what I'm saying? I was like, I think spirit is trying to tell me to tell you that there's something you need to clear in your life that is trying to control and manipulate you. And I remember them getting fucking mad at me. Like, what the fuck are you talking about? That? And I'm like, I'm, oh my God. And then it's like, no deed, no good deed goes unpunished. And if a person's not ready to hear it, they're going to think you're calling them Listen, I know, I've known when I've had entity attachments, I've looked in the mirror and said, okay, I got an entity, it needs to be removed. For instance, like when you have addictions or attachments or you, you can't fucking break up with somebody, you can't let go of them, you cannot literally let go of a friend, a lover, there is an entity there. It's not about the person, fuck the person. Think about what they have around them that is this cord that is controlling you and them and that is keeping you. You can't, you know, those times when, okay, for instance, this is what I would call an entity. You know, when you're talking to someone and they stop talking to you and they just walk away, they don't talk to you no more. And you can't help but to keep staring at your phone. Like, are they texting me? Are they texting? That's an entity. And it's something I'm, I'm talking about seriously. It's an entity because no normal person in their right mind is going to wait for somebody who's not texting them to text them, text them back. That's the entity controlling you. So when you attach yourself to people, whether it be sexually, emotionally, physically, mentally, spiritually, when you attach to these people, understand understand that people come with their own attachments and you as a light worker big message eh, eh, blow the horn i'm hearing spirit say and you as a light worker are taking on their fucking entities you want to know why because they don't even know or care that they have an entity they're unaware and they act like no 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 what are you talking about because they don't know but you come in with your third fourth and fifth eye and you're like yo um you got to changes because the you know there's an entity and they're looking at you like you're crazy or like i slept over people's houses and went to bed and i was like yo you gotta clear this house the tv's talking the fucking air conditioner was talking to me there's a lot of spirit in here and they're like oh fuck that you just tell them to be quiet and i was like, it's not about that why do you have spirit roaming around your house like this without telling i said do you feel depressed a lot yeah do you feel angry a lot yeah are you do you have addictions a lot yeah okay so figure it the fuck out because you're opening up the door and allowing all these entities to control you it's a difference when you know okay you know what i'm smoking too much weed but i know i am i'm just gonna finish it off right now but if you're like i need to smoke this weed i need to smoke this weed i need to smoke it right now if i don't smoke it i'm gonna fuck it my whole day is gonna go to shit there's a difference besides somebody saying, you know what? I know I need to let this go. I will when I'm ready. It's a difference when you're aware of it because that's not an entity. That means that you went through something, you're letting it go, and you're aware that it's time to release this. But if you're not aware and you're literally wondering and asking yourself, why can't I let this go? And you want to so bad. You're just like, I don't want to do this anymore. You know, it's like when you're in a bout of depression. You don't want to do it anymore. But something in you just cannot seem to get you off that fucking bed and leave you alone so you can go about your day, take your shower, and fucking move on. That's the entity. So what you need to do is stop focusing on the drug that you're addicted to or the person that you're addicted to. Oh, this is a fucking miracle message right now because I wish somebody would have told me this. 
five, six years ago because I would have gotten through shit so much faster. If you stop focusing on the addiction and the drug and the person, it's not the cocaine. The cocaine didn't do shit. It's just there. It doesn't know what it's doing to you. Coke's not like, I'm going to pick you and I'm going to make you addicted. It's more like uh, an entity who liked Coke when they were alive or still hasn't healed from that. Still in the ashes doing the same thing. They find a weak mind, a weak spot. Not saying that you're weak but weak-minded at the moment. Vulnerable is the word we'll use. They find it and they take over and go, okay, this person is going to do exactly what I want them to do. Let's go to them because they'll take as much drugs as I want them to. And do not ever get it twisted that spirit gets high with us through osmosis. Osmosis meaning you take the drug, they feel it, and they're happy. They feel it. It's like maybe they're not really truly feeling it, but it's a mental thing. It feels like they're still getting high and they're still able to do that. And then another thing, another reason I'm hearing this very strongly, maybe spirit wants to hang out with you and spend time with you. So let's say you were dating someone. I'm hearing something about an ex-boyfriend. Let's say you were dating them and they had addictions. I'm, I'm, I'm seeing heroin here. I hope, hopefully not, because I don't. I wouldn't wish that on my worst enemy. Okay, I've seen that, and I've seen cocaine. I'm seeing powder substances. Let's say you're hanging out with them, <clears throat> and you know when they were alive, like they did that stuff, and now they feel like the only way they can be with you and hang out with you is when you get high or drink. I'm seeing a bottle of vodka here. Vodka. I'm hearing the shitty kind. I don't know. That's what I'm hearing. And you know maybe that's the way they feel. It's the only way they can like connect with you you know i know i've had several different addictions to different drugs and i'm telling you from pills to everything and it's not about the addictions and drugs this is about talking to you saying if you feel the need that you cannot let something go don't look at the drug don't look at the person look at the entity and look at the entity dead in the face and say to them i know what you're doing i'm aware of you and you don't control me I'm doing this because I want to, not because you're telling me to do it. So if you think that your feelings and your needs and wants are making me do it, you're wrong. I'm doing it because I want to, because I feel like it right now. But when I'm ready to let it go, you will not be able to stop me when I'm ready to let it go. This is not about you. It's not about him. It's not about her. This is about me and the force field that I carry within me. And I know that I can do whatever I want, whenever I want. But you are not going to stand around here and think that you're manipulating this sweet little vulnerable dumb bitch. Because I'm not stupid. I'm fully aware. Love and light. I'm going to send you lots of love and light. You know why? Because you need it. Because if you got to stand around and bring people down with you and misery with you, while you're in the spirit world and you pass when you could have the freedom to be anything you want to be, but you're choosing to stand around people and make them miserable, then you need all of the love someone can give. You see that? Mm-hmm. You see that? But then again, spirit will be around for good reasons. For that, for instance, my friend's brought my friend's son who passed. I kept hearing for a week. Get a pa painting done of me. Get a painting done of me. So I went and got money and she did the painting. I paid for it out of my pocket why would somebody do that unless i felt the calling right and then i show the, his mom the painting she goes flo what the fuck we've been talking about doing a painting of him for like two three weeks now i'm like well i kept hearing it for about two three weeks and i, did, I got the painting done so spirit will come around to let you know good things but then spirit will come around and be like you're miserable you're sad i mean i mean i'm miserable i'm sad and you're miserable with me you're sad with me i'm not though i'm not sad i'm not miserable Dude, if you want to be miserable, you know what I tell spirit? If you want to be miserable, then just be miserable, but say to me, I am miserable, not you are miserable. Don't try to, don't try to make it. So remember, when I say, say I am miserable, say, oh shit, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Look, fuck you, fuck you, and fuck you, and fuck. Do you see that? Do you fucking see that? I should, do you see what the fuck I'm saying to you? Wow. I can't even make this up, dude. I cannot fucking make this fucking up. Oh, God, Jesus Christ. I can't make it up. I can't. Did you just see what the fuck just happened? As I'm telling you guys what to do with the entity, a fucking big ass bug about this big smacked me in the head. Do you, do you understand me? Do you understand me? And I, I thought, seriously, I thought something fucking flew out of the sky like I was like oh <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying bitch I don't know I thought some somebody like it felt like somebody was attacking me 
And why? Because they don't want... It was a, actually a lightning bug too on top of that because there's a bunch of them all around. Do you understand that they don't want you to know? You heard it, right? You saw it. You heard it. Like, you know, you know how you, after a bug touches you, now you're like shaking everything off, hoping that it's not on you anymore. Yeah, anyway. Um, that's what I'm saying to you. This is what I'm saying. They don't want you to... Yo, bro, this is what I'm talking about. When you think it's a fucking joke, when I'm sitting here telling you what to say to the entity and to stop letting them tell you about their misery and making it your own and then something flies in my head there's that's not oh a fly so what it's a fly no whole open ass road here not a fucking single bug i'm walking and all of a sudden a, a bug lands right up. it's it like smacked me in the ear like shut the fuck up bitch oh no i'm not gonna shut up see that's the thing this is why, and I will tell you right now, love and light to everyone, I swear to God. I'm right now outside just placing a ball of white light over the house. And I will stand here and just be like this with my hands. And I will place a big ass white light. And I will start it from the core of the house. A big light in the middle of the home. And I'll start to expand that light. And expand it and expand it. And I'll, I'll put that force field and every dark energy entity any attached things there instantly they're all being flown out and i see like a open sky of angels and they come down and they just start grabbing whatever doesn't belong there do you understand me because what they're not gonna do is control us no what you're not gonna do is control us what you're not love and light but what you're not gonna do is control us and what you're not gonna do is make us miserable with you i'm so sorry I am really sorry. This is what I say to Shadow. Negative energy. I'm sorry that you're miserable. I'm sorry that you're going through that. I am really sorry. I say to Spirit all the time. But which, but you have to understand it's not, it's not my fault. And you're putting that on me like as if I did something to you. I didn't do anything to you. I don't, if, even if I did something to you in a past life, I'm hearing. You tell them, that was a past life. I'm not that person today. So I'm sorry if I hurt you in any lifetime, but I'm not going to keep apologizing for what I did in the past. This is now. I'm in this moment, right this moment now. I don't live in the past. I definitely don't live in the future. I don't live in yesterday or five minutes ago. I live in this, right now, this exact moment. My feet are walking against this, this road. It's nice outside. I love this air. It feels so good. I just finished cleaning the whole house. It feels even better. I'm going to go inside. My bathroom spotless. My kitchen spotless. And I feel really good. And this is the moment I'm in. And everything else or everyone else, I don't really care at this point who you are, what you want, and why you're around me. Because I'm tired, I'm hearing. I'm tired of it. It's not fair to me. I'm, it's not fair to me that you think that I have to deal with your shit. Like, it's not fair. You understand? Mm-hmm. Mm. Oh, one more message. Hi, Bree. I love you. You have to understand something. When people have the entity around them or they have negative energy around them, people that are in the negative state of mind, that are in the negative state of mind, they do not know that this negativity is around them because they are the negativity. But you as a light worker... Hear me. You as a light worker are having to deal with the repercussions of other people's entities. So you have to control and block out everyone's entities. Love, husbands, children, everybody. And you also have to clear as a light worker. Understand you have the power to clear those entities from people. I see you letting go of something next few days. It's like, you know, like uh, all of a sudden just weight starts shedding. You know that, you know, when you're not thinking about it, you're just like, ah, fuck it. I'm good. I'm good fat like this. And then all of a sudden, just like a bunch of weight starts just coming off you. <clears throat> That's how it usually works, right? We stop thinking about it and all of a sudden, boom, it comes. <laughs> Whatever you're trying to manifest, you stop thinking about it and it just comes. But when we're like, hey, I need, I gotta, I gotta do it. It's like almost like. You know what I'm saying? It never comes. So I really feel like right now, <clears throat> I'm seeing you like go back and forth and doing something and keep saying, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. Um, <clears throat> I really see like spirit helping you clear this once and for all. Once and for all. And it's it's not been easy because it's been, it's not been easy because it's been for lifetimes, you guys. It's been.
been lifetimes. For some of you, it's been actual lifetimes and, and it's been hard. So I'm going to see you guys later. <clears throat> I hope this message, you know, resonates and helps you out because I really would rewatch it because this is a lot of um, energy coming through. The Lionsgate portal is no joke. No joke. You will be experiencing massive shifts and changes. You know what I'm saying? So I love you guys. Love and light to you. And I'll see you guys tomorrow, okay? Girl, my little cousin had my family listen to like, Let It Go yesterday. Really? That's cute. Yeah, you know. And then I'm saying pay attention to your, your cars and stuff. Like maybe like your vehicles. Uh, don't forget, Mercury is also... Mercury is also coming into retrograde. 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 Mercury is coming into retrograde, you guys. So what you want to do is remember that when Mercury comes into retrograde, now we have... Now I can't... I feel like I can't see anything, bro. I almost hit that garbage. Uh, now we have Mercury coming into retro. Now, oh boy, forget it. Everything just all of a sudden together wants to start acting a goddamn fool. And it all happens at once. So be cautious and careful about how you portray energy right now you you think everything has to do with you like it's not always you babe it's not always you okay all right guys i'll see you guys later i'll see you guys later love and light to you guys you have a way a wonderful night okay remember try to meditate tonight i told you delve into pair pair that's how you know mercury is coming to retrograde i start stuttering a little bit um it's like i know <laughs> you know so um delve into prayer and meditation right now because it will really help you see that this is not your energy that's not your energy this is your energy and a lot of self-healing your body i'm hearing because that's what's coming for you next okay it's physical healing healing in the body okay guys all right guys i'm gonna see you guys later i don't like i'm about to enter the main street i'm on the side street of my house right now so i don't want to be driving and uh being on the phone okay i'll talk to you guys later Talk to you guys later. Love you, Moni. Thank you. Thank you. All right, guys. I'll see you later. Love you. Bye. Bye, Dom. Bye, everybody. Good night, guys.